I'm back in the hills of northern Georgia reviewing vineyards. I want to tell you, this is a great experience. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Georgia staying in Talking Rock and as you see from behind me I'm staying in an old cabin on this family's property this uh, property is called Kaluna Kaluna if you would like and subscribe this show I'll be doing more of these and I hope you enjoy new vineyards that I've gone to in northern Georgia part of the joy of these wine trips is traveling through the mountains of northern Georgia my first vineyard is about an hour and a half from Atlanta and nestled in the hills of Jasper, Georgia. Look at that view. That is the view you see when you come to this vineyard. Like many of the Georgia wineries, Fainting Goat is a family-owned boutique vineyard. Their wine list has a wide range of full-bodied reds, crisp, fruity whites, and tasty sweet wines, like blueberry and peach. It'll be um, Primitivo. It'll be a little bit like Pinot Noir at the start. You'll get some tart cherry on the palate. Okay. And you're gonna have rustic tannin to it, so that's just gonna mean you're gonna get a smoky finish, not quite as smooth, but right. a bit of a bite to it. Okay. The Urban Loft is the Super Neo. That's going to be a little bit more like Cabernet, so very smooth with the palate, bigger cherry, and then a warmer right. spice. So okay. Very easy drinking, definitely get a Nice. All right, this is really clever what they do. They put their glasses so you can carry them like this. Is that neat or what? And you'll finish with the Malbec, the Harvesting Homes. Definitely one of our more popular reds. It's going to be a 2015. Is, is everything from here? Do we you? do not grow all of the grapes, but we make okay. all the grapes. Okay. So we just grow Bordeaux reds. So anything we can't grow, we... Do you grow ship from wherever you ship? Mm -hmm. Yep. I have learned that some places do that and some places don't. Yep. <laughs> but that's great. That's great. As long as it's good, who cares, right? Yep. All right, so I'm, I'm going to say on this video, this place, Fainting Goat, they just won on three glasses of wine for three tastes, and everyone knocked it out of the park for me. I really enjoyed them. So if you're a red wine drinker, good choice. The view here, ridiculous. This is a this is the place you want to come to and, and, and sit and have a big old glass of wine, which I'm going to do next, I think, and sit out there and look at that view. There is a bottom level where you can sit in the grass and have a picnic and on weekends enjoy the musicians that are playing. And it wouldn't be Fainting Goat if they didn't have four Fainting Goats. So, the greatest part of the experience of going out and having wine here in Georgia is not just the tastings, but the people you meet. It is it's, great. That's Michael, Michael. and Janice. Collegio. Yes. And I met them today and uh, ended up buying a glass of wine and then they shared a glass of wine with me. <laughs> and I will tell you, that is what makes this experience the best. That's it. So, yeah, do that. <laughs> While on my Georgia wine trip, I chose to stay at Kaluna Farm Retreat. Nestled in the creek hollers and the bottomlands of the Blue Ridge foothills, this farm has four unique rentals to stay in. I chose the off-grid cabin at $85 a night. This is one of the cool things about uh, coming up to Georgia and uh, you could be doing it for anything. Like this great little retreat they have here and this retreat, uh, a lot of people use, like the guy that I talked to down here, he's a mountain biker, and he's here with his family. He's staying in one of the other little places they have here. I'm staying in the oldest one. This is, they're not sure how old it is. They have had seven generations that's owned this property. And um, so, this is this great old cabin they have here, which is really cool. Let me show it to you. See that? Look at that. Beautiful cabin. And I just want to take you through it so you can see 
what I've experienced the past couple nights here, and I really have enjoyed it. Uh, and of course, it has a nice porch you can sit on, and there's actually electricity on the porch, which I just noticed today. <laughs> and there is a light here that you can use to turn on uh, above us, a light for the porch. The door has a lock on it, and this is the interior, which is really, really neat, as you can see. And they have a little, some, you know, some necessities you might need, a little refrigerator and so forth, a place you can sit and eat, and also, you know, when uh, it's the winter time, they have a stove for heating the place. I'm in the country, I hear country noises. Hear that? I'm not worried about it. You can see the cabin right here. And this cabin has no bathroom. So if you want to pee, you can go in this yard over here, or you can walk down the the um, the hill and there is a bathroom down there. They have an outside bathroom that, it's not, it's inside, but it's, you know, you can walk down and go to that bathroom. But get this, add on in the back, <laughs> that works. Um, they're building an, a, a small kitchen and a uh, bathroom, so it's gonna have that. So anyway, so they added a second floor of this little place so that you could have a bed in here and not be all stuck in one room. Really comfortable bedroom. They have an oscillating fan up here um, and uh, I slept very comfortably. So that's what you have. You really, really like going and doing something special and interesting. There's a lot of places down here you can stay. This particular spot is uh, just a little um, family. It's a family farm and they have a variety of places on this farm, this is the only one that does not have running water and a bathroom. However, that, like I said, they're working on that, so they're gonna have that here too. Um, and you're close to everything. So you're really close to several of the vineyards that I've gone to are right in this general vicinity. So worth it if you're to do that. Uh, and I just wanted you to see it so you could know there are some really cool things to do if you're down here and uh, going to vineyards or whatever else you really like to do. This is a great little place to go to. All right. Uh, I am at uh, Ott Vineyard here in LJ, and uh, I'm here the later afternoon, so I on a Friday, so that's when things start getting really busy. They start having musicians playing, and that's what a lot of the places do. So uh, this one I just happened to hit, and uh, I can hear that, mission, that musician playing over there and talking. So we'll see how this goes, but um, it is really pretty. I'll give you that, and uh, I'm looking really forward to uh, getting in and trying their wines. We're going to taste it. Okay. Smells good. Got a nice nose on it. Okay, so that's the one I like. That's the one I really like. This is the one that I want to buy a glass of. I'm going to buy a glass of this. So, look at this. Look at that behind me. Is that gorgeous or what? I would say this was a success. Um, of my trip, this is certainly one of the ones I thoroughly enjoyed. The experience is excellent because they have, they got this thing nailed. You know, great kind of bluesy music going on out there. Um, they have 
a great place to sit. People really are enjoying themselves. They've got a, a food truck, small food truck out there. They've got some uh, a variety of wines, white, reds, even some of those fruit wines that they have here in Tennessee and Georgia. This is Georgia, of course. And they have all of that going on and a beautiful, beautiful view, as you can see. And you can do what I like to do, and it is walk through the vines. Anyway, big success. I loved it. Uh, this is where I like being. I love the Georgia mountains. All right, until the next time, cheers. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights.